even talk about full on. Honestly, if I'd meant a brief me beforehand, I'd have been mince me. She feed okay. Oh yeah, drank her own body weight, greedy madam. <laughs> okay, so what exactly did the mediator say? Well, not much. But Susie can stay with me for now, anyway. Oh, thank God. Oh, sounds like you played a blinder. I didn't think so at first. Johnny only had a copy of the fake birth certificate. The what? How? Don't ask me. Well, what did they say? Well, surprisingly, she didn't even seem that bothered. She just wanted to know why I didn't want Johnny to have access. And what did you say? I said that I was worried that Jenny might kidnap her like she did with Jack. He said that? Blimey, the gloves really were off. Oh, don't. Jenny looked at me like I'd just punched her in the face. I can't believe I said it, to be honest. So this fake birth certificate, how did he get his hands on it? Peter. I caught him in here the other day. He must have found it. Would you really think he'd do that? Yeah, actually. Mm, well, he nailed his colours to the mask pretty quick. Yeah. You just back from seeing Jack. How is he? I still don't think he's sunk in yet. Keep trying to keep him thinking positive for all the good I'm doing. Kevin, you're doing brilliantly. And the main thing is that he knows you're there for him. Look, you're there. More than welcome to come for the brew if you fancy. I can't, mate. I'm late for my next job. But I'll have a pint with you later. Yeah, maybe tomorrow. Thanks for the lift. All right. <laughs> Still stand for you if you fancy it. Oh, I don't think I'm a very good company, not after the day I've had. Oh, what's up? Oh, you don't want me burdening you, not with what you're going through. Don't be daft. I could do with the distraction, truth be told. It's better than being on my own. If you sure. Hiya. What are you doing here? Sorry. I needed to see you. Why? What's happened? I just got back from the mediation. Of course, yeah. How'd it go? <laughs> Brilliant. Till Eva told them about Jenny kidnapping Jack. Never. That was yonks ago. What court's gonna let Susie within a mile of us now? Step granny was a child snatcher. She was having a breakdown. She's not going to do that again. Look, why don't you try talking to Eva again? No. Reason with her. Maybe, I don't know, maybe you could share Susie. She's Aidan's kid. I know that. Look, I know you want to hold on to as much of Aidan as you can. But surely seeing something of Susie is better than nothing. No. She belongs with me. And that's not going to happen so long as I'm with Jenny. What? Truth is, I only stayed with her to improve my chances of getting custody. And look where that got me. So what are you saying? I'm saying... I've made my mind up. I'm leaving her. Mind your step. <laughs> and lo, it came to pass that Cathy pictured herself selling an extensive range of power tools and other DIY essentials, not to mention providing her communities every cobbling requirement. You're not seriously telling me that this is ours? Oh, let's just say the wheels of commerce are in motion. <clears throat> what, what, what would the rent be? Ah, that's where my negotiating skills really come to the fore, hoping to persuade the council to give it us repentance. Is that strictly kosher? I'm faintly offended. Obviously, if you're going cold over the whole thing. No, 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 I think it'll be wonderful. Our very own shop. <laughs> Not just a pipe dream, after all. <laughs> that was a pun on plumbing. Oh, right. Very good. Uh, oh. ah. I know it's come out of the blue, and I've sprung it on you. A bit. So what about... All them things you said about sticking by Jenny. Are you going back on all them now? I made a mistake, 
okay? I, I rushed into it because, well, Jenny just sort of barrels you into things. And I'm not saying I didn't love her. I did. But I know now that she's not the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. It's you. Just, uh, tell me honestly. If things had gone your way at the mediation, would you still be here saying all this to me now? Listen to me. What you were going through now, no parent should have to deal with. But being here with me is not going to make that go away. I thought we had something. This isn't about us. It's about you. You're trying to fill that hole in your heart where Aidan was. And I can't do that for you. I so wish I could. But I don't think taking Susie away from Eva could do it either. That baby belongs with a mum. And you belong with your wife. Right, so this is what's going to happen. I'm going to sort my face out and uh, you're going to pretend that this chat never happened. That way I don't have to watch you walk out through that door. Don't come rip you off. He completely manipulated me so he could get his hands on the charity fund. Lamb. I feel so ashamed. Why? It's not your fault. Well, that's just it. It was. I was so set in my own ways that I didn't follow the proper protocol. That's why I've had to step down as the mayor. Well, I didn't let you go because of that. Look, I know you, Sal. And even if you did something wrong, you did it for the right reasons. Thank you. Oh, I think people are going to look at me very differently from now on. You know, you won't be the only one. What do you mean? Think about when Jack gets home. People are not going to know what to say, how to look at him. Oh, Kevin, people adore Jack. And it will be tough at first, but he's got a great future ahead of him. I'm certain of it. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I've said the wrong thing. Oh. Ignore me. I'm glad you're coming out. Not to moan about my ex-career. You'll find something else. You always do. Do you know what I was just thinking? I know I'm not the mayor anymore, but I can still help people. And where better to start than right here? Oh, I thought I'd missed you. Sorry? I told you. Need the minibus back by four. Oh, change your plan, I'm afraid. You'll have to get it in the morning. I've got a meeting I can't be late for. Oh, you can't do that. I need it. Sorry. Well, uh, at least let me get my wallet out. I left it in the cab. Like I said, you can get it in the morning. Look, don't be like that, all right? I'll be five seconds max. <laughs> You're some sort of bang to the head. I told you no. Now do one. Hey, everything all right? Yeah, she said she'd have my tire done by four o'clock. And she's saying it's not ready. Also, she won't let me get my wallet out. Not true. But I had to close up early. I'm seeing the kids. All oh, right, well, you go as well. All right, so you leave me in charge and then you swan in like you're the big man. What? You stick them keys in and I walk out of here. <laughs> What's got into you? Look, if I want to open up, I'm opening up. Yeah? Well, you're going to have to go past me. I'm feeling a bit better now. I, mean, I don't even know why I was so upset. I mean, it's obvious he was going to marry some other stuck-up toff. That's what them lot are like, aren't they? Keep it in the family. He's probably marrying his own sister. I wouldn't mind, right, but I tried so hard to stop myself from falling for him. Did you? First, yeah. 
But then he had this way of making me feel like he proper cared about me. He was always texting and calling me loads. <sighs> yeah, as if he'd love me, the stupid pavel that hell, the kebabs. Will you stop running yourself down? Maybe you aren't posh like his fiance. Doesn't mean you aren't beautiful on the inside. Oh, right. So you're saying I'm a minga? What? No, I didn't mean it like that. I don't know why you even care. I mean, you've been proper narky with me for ages. And don't say it's cos I opt on tight, because you forgive him quick enough. So why not me? The way I like you. You know, it's different. How? Oh. Because... Well, you're my best mate. I was worried you liked him more than me. Oh, you big idiot! <laughs> I'll never like anyone more than you. I don't right. believe it. Cupid's finally doing his business. <laughs> what am I going to do now? How do you mean? Well, I, I can't go in there, can I? I might ruin things at a very delicate moment. We'll, uh, we'll have to go back to ours. What for? Well, maybe you could um, talk to me about your favourite power tool. Oh. As it happens, I do have a wholesale catalogue we could rummage through, although, strictly speaking, it isn't. Oh. You had me at rummage. Oh. <clears throat> Ask me, mate. She's on something. You're not here. No. Well, then why are you acting so weird? Look. Either you shift her, or I will. Oh, you reckon, do you? Well, go on, then, pretty boy, cos I will mess you All up! All right, you two, pack it in, will you? Oh, what is going on now? Are you the owner, mate? Yeah, I'm one of them. Why? Second thought, I'll pop back later. Yeah, uh, no-one's going anywhere. Uh, sorry, what's all this about? Uh, we need to search the premises. For what? We've had a report that someone's using it to hide drugs. Got you. Nothing to do with me. Say she hid it there. Me? What did you? Oh, thanks for picking bunch tie. For your information, I was the one who called him. Well, you did. Well, there's no need to sound that surprised. She's lying. Oh, shut your face, you! To serve from control, she was the one to call it in. Looks like it's your lucky day. I'm arresting you what? on suspicion of possession with intent to supply what? controlled drug. Get your hands, hands off me, will you? But it may harm your defence if you do not mention when question something which you later rely on in court. And I think the word you're looking you for is sorry. All right, I'm sorry. I mean, you can't blame me. You were acting shifty. Well, I couldn't even go and grab a stash, could I? Not till that lot had pitched up. And to think he works in a school. But what else do you think I snitched on him? Could have been one of our kids who was flogging that tongue. If it's OK, I need you to come down the station and give a statement. Now? Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll give you a statement if you can drop me off at my kids' meeting straight after. Go on, then. Seen as I'm in a generous mood. <laughs> Say it. I never cease to amaze you. You never cease to amaze me. <laughs> Go on. Oh, hello. What's going on here, then? I'll let you know. But I might have known she'd be at the centre of it. What's she done now? Possession of an offensive weapon, a gob. Ha! <laughs> right, well, that's it. What are you doing? I don't know. Tell Eileen, tip her off. Steve, you don't even know what she's done yet. So, I told Eileen I'd look after her place, didn't I? I mean, my book, friends come first, simple as. <laughs> I take it you've made things up with Gemma then? How do you know that? I saw him through the window. Looked like you were very cosy. What's happened? Well, I've only found out Henry's going to marry some other troll. He's getting married? Oh, sweetheart, when did you find this out? Well, he stuck it on his timeline, didn't he? Chad's always brilliant, though. He proper cheered me up. Is that why uh, you had your arm around her? Yeah, why else? Uh, do you know what? I think I can cover her. Why don't you and Gemma nip for a bun or something? Yeah, good idea. You go ahead and order her. Uh, I need to use the loo. Oh, cheers, cheers. See, this is why you're the best mate ever. Who needs stupid boyfriends, eh? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Why didn't you tell her? Tell her what? How you feel about her. And do not insult me by denying it all again. You'd have to be blind not to see how crazy you are about her. Fine. Maybe I am. Oh, I knew it. So what? It's obvious she's still hung up on the guy. 
What choice have I got? Well, a lot more if you stop being a wimp and tell her. No. Fine. Well, if you won't tell her, then I will. OK, OK, I will. When? Tomorrow. Mm. I still can't believe I said that to Jenny. Yeah, well, they started it. All that matters is that Susie's here with us. Hey, listen. Why don't I take her tonight, let you catch up on some sleep? Oh, thanks, darling, but I'm still going to hear her. Well, then I'll make a bed down here. No, I can't ask you to do that. Oh, don't be daft. Me and her can have a bit of girly time. Ollie will be all right with Liz and Steve. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. And if you feel really bad about it, you can uh, always go and make me a brew. <laughs> Yeah, well, sorry to be the bearer of bad news and all that. Yeah, yeah, I've seen him on. It's a wonder I can even get in that bathroom with all your mum's lotions and potions. Where is she, anyway? Oh, she's uh, took herself off to bed once an early one in case Oliver wakes her up, you know. No, she seems a bit out of sorts. And what about Eileen? Did you finally get through to her? Yeah, she just called me back. Go on, then. Did she blow a stack or what? Well, let's just say she's not best pleased to come back in the morning to have it out. Well, Steve, I would hate to be in your shoes when Abby finds out that it was you that grassed her up. Yeah, look, about that. Um, while we're divulging delicate information, um, I might need to flag something up, you know, clear the air a bit. Right, well, go on then. Well, when Abby finds out that it was me that dobbed her in, she might say something to you, you know, show you a photo. A photo? What photo? Listen, when I explain this, you've got to promise to remain calm. Steve, I am perfectly calm. What photo? Well, it's nothing, really. Just some girls, you know, being a bit over-friendly with me at a party. But it's not my fault. She probably set me up. Right. Well, let's ask her, shall we? What? Yeah, and you can tell me exactly how friendly these girls were on the way there. Right. Oh, Tracy! Ah, oh, I see how it is. Secretly drinking all the profits. <laughs> well, one of the perks of not being with an alcoholic is I don't have to feel bad about getting bladdered. Thought you were crashing out for the night. Yeah, I'm just making a bed up now. It's like sleeping on a sack of spots. <laughs> Are you okay? Of course, yeah. It's just a bit of a shock, that's all. Um, you know, Peter giving them the birth certificate. Well, at least the mediator didn't take any notice. Yeah, which is great. It is, but... Well, just the fact that he could even do that. I mean, get that he hates me. You know, he's got every right to, but it's just... It's just what? You were hoping that there was still a chance for you to... <laughs> Hardly. Well, then what? It just hurts. Just, it hurts him and Carla getting close again. And knowing that I'm left with nothing. Hey, come on, that's not true. Isn't it? Well, I've lost Peter. I've lost my baby. I've even lost my home. But hey, hey, it's good because I can still binge on free booze. So I'm obviously not a total loser. Right, come on, come through to the bar. We'll talk in there. No, oh, thanks, but I would rather just wallow in self-pity here. Come on, Tyre, don't be like You know what I mean, it, Lee? Please, I, I just want a bit of time to myself. OK. Shall I put the kettle on? <sighs> Tea. Oh, I think we can do better than that. I thought you were laying off, though. I've seen the kids, and I? I can get as rat-faced as I want. I don't get it. It went really well with Lexi and Charlie. I thought you'd be a bit... I'm not happier. Oh, yeah, I'm over the moon. I mean, what one wouldn't be? Leaving me kids with a complete stranger. Cos I'm too much of a waste of space to look after them. They'll be back, all right? Compared to a few months ago, you're like a different person. Am I? Are you joking? You even caught a drug dealer. You're like some crime-fighting ninja. <laughs> Shall I put the kettle on? Oi! Let me in, you scheming little slacker. I know you're in there. Oh. 
Never blackmailed him. Oh, don't lie, you two-faced cow. He's just admitted it. He told her. Mm -hmm. It's called taking the higher ground. But why? Because that's the kind of guy I am. Plus, I wanted to beat you to it. But why would I have shown it to her? Because he phoned Eileen and he told her that you've been arrested. What? Yeah, you see, love, if you play with fire, you're going to get burnt. But she's not even the one who got arrested. She phoned the police. It was the other guy who got nicked. You stupid, stupid hey, idiot! Hey, hey, hey. Have you any idea what you've just done? Well, it's all right. Um. Right, what we're going to do is, when Eileen gets here, we'll just tell her that it's been a mistake, that it's all Steve's fault. And what, she doesn't believe you? I was so close to getting me kids back. If Eileen chucks us out now, that's it! I've lost her for good. It won't come to that, I promise. Oh, yeah, well, you better not, because if he does, you are a dead man! I think it's best if you just, just go. Yeah. Sorry. <gasps> Steve, you idiot! If you've missed the wonderful series of emotional reunions, you know where to be at half nine tomorrow. New long-lost family begins. And the Love Island bromance no one can forget. Chris and Kem take on outrageous challenges in their new series starting right now over on ITV2.